The tennis ball in this problem starts from rest, v0 equals 0, and is accelerated to a speed of 73 meters per second during the serve, which we're told lasts 30 milliseconds. It travels to the right, we'll call that the positive x direction, where sometime later it's returned, so it comes in at the same speed v1, and is returned back the opposite direction, at speed v2 of 55 meters per second. Part A asks us to find the impulse and average force exerted on the ball during the serve. The impulse, capital J, is a vector equal to the change in momentum, which is also the average force multiplied by the time duration, delta t. We'll find the impulse as the change in momentum during the serve, final minus initial, so that's p1 minus p0. Substitute mass times velocity for each of those terms, and substitute the numbers to find that the impulse is 4.16 x hat kilogram meter per second. So the impulse is directed to the right. Find the average force using the equation above. It equals the change in momentum, or the impulse, divided by the time duration, delta t. We know the change in momentum. We just calculated that. So substituting the numbers, gives us an average force of 139 x hat newtons. Part B asks for the average force exerted on the ball during the return. We'll find this using the same equation for average force, change in momentum over change in time. Now we just apply it to the return, where the momentum starts out going to the right, it turns around and goes to the left. So the change in momentum is the final, P2, minus the initial, P1. Substitute mass times velocity for each of the momentum expressions. Factor the mass out and substitute the known values. V2 is negative 55 x hat meters per second, and V1 is positive 73 meters per second. When you calculate, you find the average force is 243 newtons in the negative x hat direction. Magnitude of 243 newtons directed to the left.